What's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mountain Smith Grand Tour Pack. So Mountain Smith sent us this pack to test and evaluate and give our opinions on. Just some quick overall specs of the bag. As I said before, this is the Grand Tour. MSRP is about a hundred bucks. You look around, you'll definitely find it cheaper. This is the Barley colorway, about 20 liter pack, which I'm a huge fan of for, uh, for day packs. And originally this was designed from the 1990s and they sort of updated some features. Originally it was uh, for side country skiing, uh, they call that, but I think it, it really works well for a lot of different tasks. And uh, we'll get into that now and I'll show you everything I like about the pack. All right, starting at the front of the bag, one thing I really like about this, the fact that you can attach and or lash items to the outside of the pack and you can see I have a ground pad that I make and sell. <laughs> hint, hint. Like I said you could attach a layer really easy, a wet layer, another ground pad, use your imagination but first feature just this bungee loop through these compression straps. Underneath where my ground pad was there is a long zipper that runs the length of the front of the bag and what that does is opens a small sort of slim stash pocket if you will. I just have a pair of gloves in there right now, kerchief. You don't really put anything too bulky in here because it is a slim pocket but it is gusseted to allow for a little bit neater packing if you will. Really like that it's on the front of the bag. Another huge pro, the fact that there's side pockets that fit bottles and this is my small coffee or not small this is my Stanley coffee carrier. I like that because in the cold I can make sure I'm drinking some liquids. But a couple of things I like about this pocket and the bottom definitely sticks out is that it's reinforced, right? And this pack is made with Cordura, about 600 uh, denier Cordura. So it's really nice to see that this pocket is reinforced on the bottom because anyone's ever used these thin mesh pockets for water on the side of a bag you know after time putting really heavy uh, liquid bottles in here that this is going to stretch a lot. So it's nice the fact that this is reinforced in the bottom and the compression strap comes over to help pull the bottle close so it's not completely all hanging on the weight of the pocket. And there's another one on the other side too. The other side I got my water and this is a 27 ounce clean canteen. Alright, let's take a look at these really comfortable generously padded shoulder pads. This bag is very comfortable to wear and the fact that these shoulder pads are nice and wide and really padded, it makes the bag really comfortable and it disperses the weight evenly without really using a hip belt. And it does have a hip belt and, and we'll look at that uh, coming up, but these shoulder straps are really nice. You can see how curved they are. These design of the shoulder straps really allows your shoulders to articulate and move and this really doesn't impede your uh, range of motion. Moving towards the bottom of the bag now, another feature I really like are these almost wings or curves right here that my hands are covering. And I guess I'll affectionately call them hip huggers. Because even if you don't have the waist belt strapped around you, the bag sort of naturally curves because of its design and it feels like it just keeps it in place on your back more, which makes sense because this was a pack that was created for, you know, physical activity. And you can see the hip belt is removable if you find yourself not using it or in the way. You can take it off. And really generously padded, again, back panel with this air mesh sort of system, which again just makes it really comfortable. Now this bag is laptop compatible, and that's one of the new features for this updated design. And it fits basically, I think they said most 15 inch laptops and my 15 inch does fit in here. And there's some padding on the bottom of this sort of slip pocket. And another really cool feature about this laptop compartment, because you're gonna be putting your bag, or excuse me, you're gonna be putting your laptop in your bag in sort of the outside zipper, if that makes sense. So it's a little bit more weatherproofing up at the top of the, uh, of the zipper track. It has this little zipper car port. So you can just put the zipper up there and close or cover the end of the zipper track, which is just a nice little feature. It's a nice little touch. 
moving back to the front of the bag, there is a small fleece line pocket in the front right here. And I like that everything is contrasting yellow on the inside, just really makes it easier to see your gear, or makes it easier. I don't have anything in there right now, but small fleece line pocket for optics, sunglasses, anything you don't want scratched. And you can just use it as a regular pocket as well. We'll get into the main compartment, but first, look how big the zipper is, the zipper pulls and the zipper track all in this main compartment. YKK, you know, look at next to my finger. This is huge, <laughs> which makes it really nice, especially in the cold, to, to grab, you know, and open. Let's have a sweater in there right now, some other layers. And underneath that fleece line pocket we just looked at, there's a smaller hanging pocket, which is nice again. I don't have anything in there right now. It's really cool, really cool design. And this is hydration, hydration excuse me, compatible. So you got the little loop to hang your bladder from. It fits down there, just have my stove in there. And then there is a little bit of organization capability. Just have some stash pockets in there. Everything I showed you were pretty much all the pros, everything I liked feature-wise about this pack. And I tried really hard to think about things I didn't like about it, and because I'm always critically thinking when I'm testing something, not trying to find faults or making them up, but just trying to be honest and unbiased. And honestly, I can't find anything that I don't like about this pack. There's plenty of padding between the inside of the bag with the laptop, there's an EVA frame sheet in there, so there is some structure when it's empty and it's just an all around, I think great pack and all around being that it works just as well if you're taking it in the city, around town, taking it to class or bringing it out in the woods for a day hike because it's made out of Cordura. This is my first time using any Mountain Smith products. I've known about them for years and I just haven't tried any of the products yet. So I'm really happy to finally get it because they have a great uh, reputation for build quality materials and I can confirm that everything I've ever heard about the company, it's true. I really like the designs and material choice, everything I've already talked about. So if you have any experience with Mountain Smith products or their lumbar packs, let me know, because I'm interested in maybe trying some of their lumbar packs for uh, maybe the spring, summer months. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. If you have any questions or anything to add to anything I said, drop a comment below. Until the next video, this is Crick with Black Owl, Stony behind the camera. Peace out, turtles.